brother. He cannot walk. He uses crutches to walk. Help my brother. Help my brother, man of God. Please help us. Please, two believers are better than one. So please, I want you to be in spirit. For the glory of God, this gentleman must walk. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look at the screen of the television. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Aye. This is the gentleman. Yes. This is him. You can see Mr. Victus shouting and falling under the anointing of God as the Holy Spirit is working out the answer so that Mr. Victus can walk again. The Bible says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. After all human efforts on Mr. Victus had failed, he rushed to Jesus and he was given rest, as the Lord used his anointed one to set him free in Jesus' name. If it is going to be so simple, the bullet can be removed easily like that. You don't say, I'll say, rise and walk. But the operation is still going on. So that is why he's feeling it. He's not here. You see, it's Christ he's screaming. <laughs> Mr. Victus is not at ease with himself at all as he is being taken through the spiritual operation. Can you see, can you see the problem? Can you see where the problem lies? Can you see where the problem lies? A lot of blood is inside the hole. It's not in the place. There is no way he could explain it. <coughs> if it's possible for him, he will solve the fire because it's something serious. Mr. Victus is under the influence of the Holy Spirit. You can see the very spot these bullets have passed through, destroying the bones and rendering the leg completely useless. But our Lord is a mighty God. What seems to be impossible to man is possible to God Almighty. As you can see, the mighty hand of God at work in Mr. Victus' life. This is indeed beyond human comprehension. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are free. Please explain to us what has happened to you. Something is working inside the place. Something is working? Yeah. Yeah. But you want to be free? Totally. Okay, totally. don't worry. Because I'm a military man. Without this leg, I cannot do anything any longer and I permit to serve my nation. Okay, it's a military man. Tango is a military man. For him to feel this kind of pain, Imagine if you are to be a civilian. <laughs> the Bible says, no one can say Jesus is the Lord unless he or she is guarded by the Spirit. You must not call the name Jesus without the help of Holy Spirit. If you call it without the help of Holy Spirit, you are grieving him. You are making him to hear, to see, and to feel what is opposed to his will. Right now, I want to call the name again. And right now, the Spirit of God will go Jesus. down the bone. Gosh. And you'll see what will happen to our gentleman. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Spirit of God is all powerful. As Mr. Victus is being taken through a spiritual operation in order to remove the bullets in his thigh and also heal the wounds sustained from the gunshot, he is no longer at ease with himself, for he is now completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit, which you can see by the movements of his body, which were so excessive they resulted in the car shaking terribly to the extent that people had to hold it down. <laughs> Return your leg here in the name of Jesus. Return it. Return it. Put it down. Right now, without touching you, you will be the one to move and to walk gently on your own. What the name Jesus can do is more than money. Jesus. I want you to see what the name Jesus can do. Look at what the name Jesus can do. Jesus! See, see. This is it. Put it 
down. Put it down. Now, look at what the name Jesus is doing. Right now, put your leg down one by one. So down. In the name of Jesus, put it down one on the floor. One. One, take it easy. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, that is a boy who could not walk. That is a boy who could not stand on his feet. The bones were broken because of the numerous bullets. Thank you, Lord. Right now, the Jesus, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Jesus, I'm walking. I'm walking. God has got it again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Oh, you can see Mr. Victor's walking. This is what he has not been able to do for so long. Our Lord is a mighty God. What has been impossible for man, the Lord has made possible by making Mr. Victus walk again. To God be the glory. My name is Victus Okechuku Owai. I'm here to testify what the Almighty God has done in my life. I was attacked by unknown gunned men, either I'm robbers or hired assassins. I could not say. In my house, not even in the streets. When they came in, I was not myself. And when I was even in the parlor with my family, there was no argument, but rather what I saw was some bullets raining on me. I was able to dodge them, but some were loaded into my laps. And as a result of that, my left femur, the bone was shattered to pieces. I was taken to usage unconscious. Before I knew myself was the following day. And they were able to resuscitate my life to an extent. But a gunshot is not a joke. It was not ordinary a motor accident. Apart from the bone being shattered, the flesh was badly damaged. After some time, I started losing hope in my life of survival. And even when I believed I would survive, the language was that my leg has to be amputated. I cannot walk. I cannot do anything. Life changed. My family were beside me, taking me from one hospital to another, and no way. And the instruction by the, the people that tried a little, the native doctor, is that I should never ever pass where it's slippery or anywhere there is water. Because any moment I happen to fall, that is the end of it all. I came here, and on that very fateful day, 
I was arranged. I was arranged at the emergency for healing. When the man of God came for prayers, he did not touch me. Neither did he even send anybody to come and touch me. All he did was to stretch his hand forth before me. And immediately, you could see that I was shouting. I was screaming. By then, I did not even know what was going on. All I feel is that something was moving around the place I had the wound, where the blood was tucked inside the bone. I feel somebody was inside the flesh, inside the bone, uprooting them. Because I believe you hear him mentioning that he is operating me spiritually. And uh, my cry was not just an ordinary cry, that a spiritual operation was going on. Actually, I felt something like that. There was no way I could shift this leg, turn it, not to talk or squeeze it. I squeezed that leg immediately. I stretched immediately. I could move it anyhow. You could see what was happening in, in, in the video. I was moving it around the styrene. Even I had the strength to pull off the styrene that very day. But the moment I tried to destroy anything inside the moto, the Spirit of God would just talk to me. But uh, after the prayer, that very moment, the man of God commanded me to stand up and walk. To stand up and walk, I stood up immediately and walked for the glory of God. In fact, I feel so great. I can even do the matching now that we normally do in our field. I can even do The fifth day of my healing and deliverance here, I marched to the office. That Jesus Christ, the greatest doctor and the greatest bone healer, has done it for me. Everybody we are astonished. They were all surprised because they thought I would never ever walk. And if I shall walk, that will be with one leg. But they saw me with my two legs. This x-ray was the first x-ray they did at UCH. It revealed about 44 bullets in my leg. And what the orthopedician said that this are palace, not the military bullet. And this one is more dangerous than the other bullet. This also was done at a private hospital after the UCH because I thought that is government hospital. Let me go to the private hospital where somebody will pay a lot of money so that a good job will be done. But at the end of the day, the story continued to worsen. The other one was in a military hospital because I decided to test all around. And it was also the same story. All these people were experts. Okay, right now, after the prayer of faith through his able servant, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, how do you feel? Right from that moment, I felt okay, very super, very Shall super. Shall we put our okay. hands together? Beautifully, very miracle working God.